a habit of Allah, as advice to myself and my brothers and sisters in Islam, but especially to those who want to take another wife, who want to uh, integrate another uh, woman into their family, into their marriage home, that some one from the wisdom of uh, some of the ulama and those people who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has favored to be in successful situations, uh, successful marriages, and, and, and doing that successfully, polygamy, which is a sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that from some of the wisdom is firstly that people need to strive and understand to have cooperation. That they should strive to ta'awun, to cooperate in these matters. So that may mean for the, the husband who wants to take another wife, that he needs to give his wife some sort of understanding about what that he wants to marry and cooperate with her. If she doesn't want to be a part of that process, then she doesn't need to be a part of that process. But if she wants to, then maybe give her some sort of role in that, and that will be upon the couple to decide. Secondly, Habatifillah, is that from the wisdom, and one thing that I see as a common mistake that, uh, that you find from some of the youth, is that they will want to take another wife, but they may not even begun to really take care of their responsibilities with their first wife. So what you have is you'll have, uh, unfortunately, we have this common, and I've heard of this in the UK as well, that wives, a brother will have a wife, and perhaps he may even have two wives, and they're receiving money from the state. You know, really the American government, the Canadian government, or the British government is taking care of their wife and their family, or their wives, multiple wives. And, and they want to then take on another wife and responsibility. And in fact, they haven't taken care of any of their previous responsibilities. So this is problematic. It's very important to understand the role of the Muslim man that he should be taking care of his family. If they have some sort of particular agreement that's particular to them, then Alhamdulillah. But in general, the role for the Muslim man is that he is to care and provide for his wife or wives. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Arijal ala nisa, that men are the maintainers and protectors of the women. So it's very important to realize this, oh you husbands out there who wish to take another life, wife, to make sure that you're taking care of your duties and responsibilities and that you can continue to do so or that you have some sort of agreement with your family in this regard or the new wife in this regard. Thirdly, as we've mentioned in our polygamy series, that it's very important to be just, that you must be just. But however, we're, this is not the time nor place to go into depth about the uh, about polygamy, but we're just giving general advice to those who wish to be in that uh, take on another wife. That you also, from the hikmah and wisdom that you'll find from some of the elders and from some of the ulama, is the importance of maybe if you have the ability to give gifts. And what I mean is by this, for example, if you have, a, uh, you want to marry an, a new wife, a second wife, third wife, that. You, bi'idhnillah, if you have the ability to do so, and you should strive to have that ability, is to be able to buy some sort of gift or something that will hopefully lighten the burden of your first, first wife or your second wife, okay? So you want to be able to do something to soften the blow, because for many women, that is a difficult concept. Not all women, but many. Probably the most women, this is difficult for her husband to accept her husband taking on uh, uh, another wife and those responsibilities and for her to have to share her husband so to speak so it's very important for the man to realize this and to consider her feelings and to be uh, cognizant 
and provide a gift if he is able to do so or strive his best to be able to provide some sort of gift. And that's going to depend upon the culture and it's going to depend upon the, you know, the particular orf of the people and what's customary in those uh, customs or what can be agreed upon or what is something that will lighten her, her heart and her understanding. Another point I want to mention, especially for, you'll find this a lot, a lot of times with younger couples, sometimes people, they're newlyweds. And then the husband within a month or two months or in a short period of time within the first year of marriage, he wants to take a second wife. Now, we're not saying that this is haram, but what we are discussing here is realizing the importance of your ability and to allow for your initial marriage to grow and flourish so that it should not be something uh, that is rushed and that you are, and especially if you don't have the ability to do so. So, and the other abilities. And that's why the Prophet ﷺ said, in an authentic hadith, he said, Ya ma'ashar shabab, Men as, as, uh, men, men oh, uh, men, the Prophet said, Ya ma'ashir shabab, men minkum al ba'a Whoever, O oh youth, whoever from amongst you is able to marry, then do so. So it's a very important that the, uh, the one seeking a second or third wife that he has the physical and financial prowess, but also giving the wife the chance to adapt to marriage. When you're a newlywed, you're like a month, I'm mean, sorry, a year or even two years, that this in general is not giving enough time for you to, within your marital uh, bond, to establish much. Two years is not a significant amount of time uh, for stability in order to uh, then go and take on more responsibility and to think that that's going to be comforting to the wife. So this is something that can be problematic uh, for many marriages because ultimately you want to have success in all the marriages that you have, especially in this day and age where we have Kethar Tathalaq around the world. We have a lot of divorce around the world. So it's very important uh, to, to realize this. Probably in addition to this, is one of the things I see is sometimes young men, and what I mean by young, they're in their early 20s and then they want to take on another wife. And generally, even young men in marriage, a lot, unfortunately, the average that we find in the West is not very mature for a first wife. And this is just the way, the reality of, of the situation. This is just my experience. Maybe others have had a different experience, but we see and uh, that the, uh, the lack of uh, mental fortitude and development and spiritual development and growth, uh, but a lot of times just plain and simple, the maturity and the responsibility is just not there. And so we're ending up with a lot of divorces, even from religious families and everything seemed like it was really a good positive recipe but unfortunately it was a quick recipe for disaster so to then be at, in that age range to be 22 23 years old and you want to take a second wife then this is uh more than challenging and my general advice is i would not uh recommend giving even a daughter to someone at that age who is uh, seeking a second wife. This is the general uh, experience. And so it's very important to also look for maturity uh, in this uh, context. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Almighty, to accept our good and forgive our evil and forgive us for our many sins. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.